Orak Ard Boys, coming up next on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we will be looking at Orak Ard Boys. I don't know if they're actually called Orak, but uh, that's starting to sound cool. Let's get that going around the, the web, because they are Oraks. So let's just go Orak. <laughs> anyway, so let's take a look at these Orak art boys as we rip open the plastic and see what's in the box. Now we go back to the mountain once again and look at our Orak art boys, or as they used to be known as the Black Orcs. So again, this is one of the older model kits, one of the better ones of the day. Um, you can see, of course, all our <laughs> Orok Ard boys painted in black because they used to be the black orcs. Anyway, <laughs> and uh, flipping this thing over, you can see the really cool lineup they got here. The different type of banner from the front and the big face mask. Now these colors are no longer listed this way as they are. But of course, they've all been renamed and everything for the new Citadel paint collection. So let's go and look at our instruction sheet and see how we put these guys together. And here's our instruction sheet for the old Black Orcs, or as they're now known as the Orak Ard Boys. This actual instruction sheet came out a little bit later than the models did. This is copyright 2010 by the Games Workshop. This would be around the 8th edition time period. Although the Black Orc models have been around a lot earlier than that, I do believe they came out around 6th or maybe 7th edition. Uh, if you guys know, write in the comment section down below. See how good our memory is. Okay, so opening up our instruction sheet, we first are greeted by our Orok Standard Bearer. And you actually get a choice between a banner or an icon. And of course, the body and different parts going all together. Quite a unique model, and you can paint them up in really nice ways with the tooth and check type of thing. Now we just pull our instruction sheet down this way so that we can check out the rest of the boys. And of course, there's our boss with the gigantic axe going there. And you do get a few different types of head arrangements. And of course, different weapons. You can do the two-hand weapon or whatever else. Here is our musician with the big drum pounding away. And then our instructions go to the back here. And tells you how to build the warriors. You can build the guys with great weapons. Two-handed weapons going up over their heads. Or single weapons for two separate hand weapons much like the guy down here many cool options this course is an older kit you got your square bases going in here so without further ado let's look at our plastic components all right here's a look at our first part tree and of course we've got all the different types of weapons the body here more weapons and the banner pole these are parts to assemble our drum there's one of the axes, the icon, and the banner. I'm going to turn this over here. Okay. And here's the other detail we got on the drum and the axes. The body, single body here. I do believe this is for the champion. Now let's bring this up closer to the camera can see the detail on that banner. The uh, Beastman type of head on there. So where these orcs were is quite interesting. There's the other runic icon. And as you can see, this is a squig face here. It's very, very popular for the... Uh... <laughs> anyway, there is the body. Now, looking at that axe there, see the skull heads? Pretty cool. There's our drum and different types of designs for shields. 
There's a face there, Arr, upside down. There we go. Big teeth sticking out and everything. Now, how many of you guys have actually played these as black orcs back in fantasy? And how many of you guys remember that these were the really tough ultra orcs? And then when Age of Sigmar came in, these just became the regular dudes in the Iron Jaw army. So, if you guys remember the transition, write it, of course, down in the comments section below. If you played with the Black Orcs in Fantasy, let us know. And if you just love these guys as the Ard Boys, again, let us know in the comments below. Now let's take a look at our next sprue. Okay, just to set the record straight, you actually get four sprues in this one. The parts tree, or sprue tree, that I showed you just recently here, just before this one, it's actually a duplicate. You get two of those in, probably because of all the weapons. So now, without further ado, here's the bodies that you get. You get four on here, as well as these weapons and this cool face here. It's all in a iron mask. The uh, original Ard Boys, or the Black Orcs as we knew them, they were uh, a big metal type of army. They were sort of designed by the Chaos Dwarfs by mixing all the um, orc parts with evil <laughs> and then making metal for them. So check out these different faces we got here. This is probably one of the coolest masks. It's sort of like a bull or a, sorry, a rhinoceros or something. Um, a boar, a wild boar is what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness. So anyway, look at the uh, different little knives and stuff you get. These are their feet, in case you're wondering. You can turn it over and look at all the chain mail and everything they've got here on these bodies. It's really some nice sculpting on here. Yeah, some real excellent stuff. And of course, these are... There's going to be a new book with the orcs, orcs in it from Age of Sigmar. They're kind of recombining the uh, iron jaws with the bone splitters or something like that. And uh, this is, of course, part of the coolness. So uh, let's take a look at our final sprue. Okay, here's our final sprue. And actually, <laughs> if I had have looked at this a little better, you would note that this is the same sprue as the one I just showed you. So this kit is actually um, five black orcs, or orc ard boys and a second set of five Orok Ard Boys from the exact same sprues. So that just saved us a little bit of time. And that completes our look at the Orok Ard Boys, formerly known as the Black Orcs. And now I want to ask you guys, have you actually won some battles with these guys, either in Fantasy or in Ninth Age? or in Age of Sigmar? If so, let us know how your battle went in the comment section down below. All right, I hope you enjoyed that review of our Orak Arn Boys. And if you ever are down in High River, Alberta, Canada, come on down to Monster Hobbies, and I will show you our great games workshop rack where we have a copy of Warcry. We've got the Silver Tower here, that's a great game. And if you want some older stuff, we have some Orok Greenskin Boys. And the Lorthan Skycutter, which will no longer be available. I still have got this. I also have some White Lions or Shars in here. Uh, there's Wood Elf Glade Guard Regiment. These two models are going away, never to be seen again. They're going to join the Greenskin Oroks in that collector market. And we also have some Empire Great Swords over here, which are still going to be around in the new Cities book. So, without further ado, we bid you farewell. We say goodbye with our Orak Ard Boys. And if you guys play these, please let us know in the comments section down below how your tournaments go, how your gaming goes, and how they are just in general play. And until next time, everyone, happy battling.